Remember to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from First Cry Parenting. Low amniotic fluid during pregnancy, should you worry? Amniotic fluid is a water-like fluid that surrounds the baby while it grows in the uterus and helps in their development. It cushions the baby, allowing them to move, prevents the umbilical cord from being compressed, and helps in the development of the baby's muscles, limbs, lungs and digestive system. What is Oligohydramnius? It is a condition where the volume of amniotic fluid inside the amniotic sac is too low for the baby's gestational age. If amniotic fluid volume is less than 500 ml during the 32nd to 36th week of pregnancy, oligohydramnios is suspected. Symptoms of low amniotic fluid Number 1. Fluctuating blood pressure Number 2. First baby born with low birth weight or smaller in size. Number 3. Constant leakage of fluid from the vagina. Number 4. Both mother and child not gaining enough weight and leakage of fluid from the vagina. Number 5. Baby's growth is prolonged. Causes of low amniotic fluid. Water breaking occurs when the amniotic sac tears, leading to fluid discharge, usually near delivery. Antibiotics may be prescribed to prevent infection. Number 2. Health Hazard Health problems in the baby can lead to reduced amniotic fluid. Second trimester scans may reveal kidney, heart, or chromosomal issues. Number 3. Issues with the placenta Conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, lupus, or preeclampsia can lead to inadequate blood and nutrient supply to the baby, reducing amniotic fluid. Number 4. Medication Certain medications can lead to low amniotic fluid levels and should be avoided during pregnancy. This includes high blood pressure drugs and ibuprofen, an anti-inflammatory. Number 5. Identical Twins When identical twins share a placenta, there can be a risk of low amniotic fluid. The twin with more blood may receive sufficient amniotic fluid. Risk Factors of Oligohydramnius some women are at a higher risk of oligohydramnios than others. This could be because of high blood pressure during pregnancy, diabetes, problems with placenta, lupus, obesity. How does low amniotic fluid affect your baby? Congenital disabilities like missing internal or external organs. Still birth or in utero death of the baby after the 20th week of pregnancy. Miscarriage. Premature birth. Compressed umbilical cord during labor resulting in C-section delivery. How can you prevent oligohydramnios? Drink a lot of water and keep yourself hydrated. Eat healthy food and listen to your doctor. Do not take any medicines without speaking to your doctor. Exercise regularly without exerting yourself. Stop smoking. It affects your baby's lungs directly. Keep your appointments and consult your doctor in case of the slightest doubts. Be alert and watch your pregnancy carefully.